Did the pandemic affect relationships and finding love? The pandemic affected a lot of things, going out, eating at restaurants, traveling, but what it affected most was love. I had a great pleasure to interview three people that were affected by the pandemic in three different ways of love. Mr. John Hernandez, a assistant therapist for marriage couples, he said his marriage was put on jeopardy because of the pandemic. His wife resides in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, while he lives in El Paso, Texas. When the pandemic hit, he told me that he could not see his wife for 14 months. A lot of communication was needed and a lot of love. Now that the pandemic has calmed down, this is how he goes to see his wife once a month. He takes the border highway, where it eventually takes him downtown. Then he is dropped off and walks and pays to enter Mexico and meets his wife in the bottom. From the United States to Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, right here they charge you 50 cents. And it's like, I don't know, it's like maybe quarter mile up the, up the bridge and then down the bridge. And on the other side, there's Mex Mexican soldiers and all they do is they just search your packages in case you're carrying any packages and just search you to make sure you have any contraband. Once you do that, Juarez, Mexico. And, and the main, this bridge takes you to the, one of the main streets and it's nothing but a bunch of shopping. Mm -hmm. So you'll see, you'll see all the merchants, Mexican merchants, they'll, they'll, they'll speak English to you because they see a lot of tourists and they will speak English to you. And, how, and where do you meet your wife? Uh, as soon as I cross the bridge, she okay. meets me right there. Mm -hmm. We get an Uber and we go home. Mm -hmm. Now on the way back, I'm on that side of the bridge. I'm on that side of the bridge on the way back. Uh, place where everybody crosses from Mexico over here and you go through if you're going to the car this is where you get your inspection and how long do you wait in the line to go back home it depends look at all the cars if you come into the cars it can take up to four hours but if you come if you're walking, walking if you're walking it depends what kind of what time of the day mm -hmm. sometimes it can take anywhere from two hours to five minutes okay. luckily me I come I come back when there's no line so I normally it takes about half an hour to cross sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes I only take like five minutes but once I cross on that side, then I walk all the way around and come to this valley right here and get in my car. His advice to long distance couples that were affected by the pandemic is to communicate and just stay strong because eventually you guys will be together again. Now for Claudia Machuca, a retired medical assistant, the pandemic affected her in her online dating. How was it good? How was it when it was before COVID? How, how was it exactly? Well, the dating was, was relaxing, it was exciting. I wanted to meet people. They wanted to meet me too. But uh, we didn't care about, about health issues or anything before. Before? Okay. Before. So after COVID, how was it exactly? How did it change? How do you change? Uh, we have to take um, uh, tests, COVID tests, to see if we were positive to to uh, to date. And also, you will have to tell them that you were. If you were positive, you will have to tell them so they won't, you know, want to to uh, to date you right away. They will in, wait. And now in the apps, does it say that you're vaccinated? Does it give you an option? No. No, it doesn't no, tell it doesn't. you. Uh -huh. So you have to ask them about what? Uh, yes. You, have, you to ask. have to. Yeah. And then every time that you had a date, you still check yourself because of, of uh, your mother? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So it is still right now after COVID, it's still a little bit more dangerous. It's still dangerous? Yeah. Do you see it as? No. No, it's not dangerous. But uh, you be out. I always be cash. What is the one thing that you recommend in mobile, like now meeting people online and everything? Like, what is one thing that you recommend to people to do? To be safe. To be safe. Now, for Josue Pichardo, a student from Park University, says that the pandemic has made his relationship stronger than ever. Now, how did the pandemic affect your relationship being in lockdown with your wife and your children? I think I benefited greatly from it. Um, our relationship stronger than ever we learned to reconnect more of that when you first fall in love type of feeling what you cared about that person you guys would tell each other everything how it was it just felt good it felt like starting from ground one but also i mean you know how anybody we all need our spaces 
needed my space to kill time. Now that the pandemic has calmed down, he takes his wife and his and sometimes his children to the movies and out to eat as well. Now, what do you recommend to people that were going through the same situation as you, being locked down with their spouses? What do you recommend to make their relationship stronger as yours was? I would recommend doing stuff from the beginning. Um, the interest of the other person, one likes to paint, do painting. The other one likes to play video games, play video games with him.